Hi everyone, with you JJ and Mikey, and today in the video, you will see how we were attacked at night by an army of scary Sonics. Mikey and I did not know what to do, but later erected a defense and fought off these scary Sonics. And what happened next, you will learn in the video. Let's get started. JJ, JJ, wake up, JJ! What is it? Huh? Mikey? What happened? You see them too! Who are they? And what are they doing here? Huh? Who are they? Mikey? It looks like a Sonic, but there's something wrong with them. There's some kind of unusual Sonics. I woke up to a noise. I looked out the window, and there they were. I think they're trying to do something to us. Hmm, that's weird. Let's take a closer look. Maybe we're just dreaming. Ah! If this is a dream, it's the worst nightmare ever, JJ. They're still standing there. What do we do with them? I don't know, Mikey. Let's go back to the bedroom. We can think about what to do, and they won't get us there. Yeah, I think you're right. Let's go upstairs. So, uh, Mikey, you see them running off somewhere. Now what? <sighs> what? They're leaving. Phew, we're screwed. But what if they come back next night? We gotta do something about it. Yeah, Mikey, we gotta stop them from showing up next night. But how do we do that? Hmm, Mikey, I've got an idea that's sure to keep us safe. So next morning, let's go fortify our house and put up some barriers so they can't get us. Yeah, JJ, let's do that. Okay, Mikey, it's a new day, so let's go fortify our house so those scary Sonics don't get in. Yeah, come on. It's like they're not outside the window, which means they're definitely not outside. So we can safely do everything we can to protect our house before night falls. So I think we should start with the exterior of our house. So, Mikey, let's put up some barbed wire and wooden stakes to make it harder for them to get in. Sounds like a great plan! Barbed wire is always a good idea. Do you know the best place to install it yet? I think it's worth going around the perimeter, especially where the lowest areas are. We could also add some wooden stakes to create a barrier. Also, we need to make something like a gate at the entrance to the house. I saw that those Sonics are very large, so it is unlikely that they will interfere in the passage two by two blocks, as well as I think it would be a good idea to put turrets that they could shoot at those Sonics while they will go to us. A uh, good point. A two by two block gate could really be a great obstacle. If the Sonics can't get through, it will give us time to prepare. And if we make this structure sturdy, they will hardly be able to break it. Turrets are a great idea! Huh, Mikey, why'd you put your toy in here? You think it's gonna help us from the Sonics? I don't think so. So, uh, what else can we do to maximize our home protection? Let's block the windows with blocks of wood so they can't kick in the windows. That way we have a better and better chance. I'm sure they won't get in tonight. JJ, I've already blocked all the windows I have. Let's put more stakes and barbed wire at the front of the house so they're as far away from us as possible. Hmm, Mikey, I think that's enough defense for us. Except for the lasers, but I don't have any, so we'll do without them. All right, let's go upstairs and wait for the Sonics to arrive at night. Yes, let's go. I can't wait for night to come. I want to see them. So, Mikey, it's nighttime. All right, you ready? Let's see if those scary Sonics are here or not. Okay, Mikey, yes, they're here. And look at that. There's more of them than there were. It just can't be. Why are there so many? Mikey, I don't think our defenses can handle this many Sonics, but we'll try to prepare for all of them. What? I mean, how come? Did they bring more Sonics? That can't be right. What do we do now? Let's go downstairs and see how many more there are. There can't be too many. Yeah, I guess you're right. But look at the sheer number of them from here. Wow, I don't know what we're going to do. Let's just hope they can't get through or I'll have no choice but to... Except for what? JJ, there are too many. And what do they do? Mikey, there are so many of them. And they're getting closer and closer. This just can't be happening. There's so many. I didn't expect so many. Mikey, what are we going to do? 
JJ? They're breaking down our barriers. Oh no! Oh no! That just can't be. They're breaking through more and more. Oh no. I definitely didn't see that coming. Okay, Mikey. Don't panic. I have an idea. Let's go to the second floor. I have a gun in my closet. Yeah, in this one. Take it and let's go up to the roof and try to shoot them. Hopefully, we can do that and they'll get away from us. Okay, don't panic. I'm already excited. Wow, there's a machine gun and a machine gun. I think we can handle that arsenal. And with the armor in the roof, I doubt they'll be able to get us there. So let's go shoot them down. We have to take them out. Okay, here we go. Mikey, are you shooting? Oh no, that can't be right. Are they armored? Why aren't our bullets doing any damage? All right, let's keep trying. Maybe we can do something. Yeah, JJ, I can't hit them either. There's definitely something wrong with them. They're the strongest, scariest Sonics I've seen. Wait, wait, are they leaving? JJ? Yeah, I think they're going somewhere. I noticed that too. Are they scared? Oh no, Mikey, it was a trick and they're starting to get through the obstacles faster and faster. Mikey, follow me. I've got one last hope. Let's go. What? JJ, what are you gonna do? I can't even predict you. You're scaring me, JJ. Why don't you tell me? All right, here we are. My secret basement where we'll find what we need. Come on down. What? You had a secret basement? So I'm gonna pull this lever and that should do it. You ready? Let's go. What's next? And next, Mitsuki, let's go back. So now we have to go outside. What? Why go outside? They'll kill us out there. I don't want to die. Don't worry, Mikey. Everything seems to be going according to plan. Come on. Why didn't my trap activate? Oh, no. They're coming right at us. JJ, are you confident in what you're doing? Yes. It triggered at the last minute. We were able to defeat them. Yay. What? Wow, JJ. I didn't even know you had a trap like that. When did you make it? I made it a long time ago, didn't you know? Okay, never mind. The important thing is we beat them. Yay, I'm so glad. Yeah, Mikey, I'm glad we beat them too. All right, let's go home now. I'm so tired of them, I'm sleepy. And you, Mikey, what do you say to that? Yeah, I'm pretty tired too. Those scary Sonics were the strongest I've ever seen. Phew! I didn't even think we could handle them, but we did. All right, let's go to bed. Me and Mikey found caves with diamonds and earth and decided to fight in whose store selling diamonds and earth in the village will be better. But Mikey decided to play not by the rules and ruin my mind with diamonds and how I took revenge on him, see in the video. You and I picked just the perfect day to have a fish fry. I agree with you, JJ, especially since we caught this fish with you. Yeah, that was crazy fun. Wait, Mikey, turn around. Huh? What's that over there? Let's hurry up and look. I've never seen anything like it. As many times as you and I have been to this village, I have never seen a diamond and earth flying in the sky. It looks like something new has been discovered there. Yep. Ooh, whoa! Ha ho! JJ, as I understand it, two mines opened up here and they immediately decided to open their store that sells everything they mined in this mine. Let's take a closer look. Well, it looks crazy. I really like the diamond mine. As I see diamonds flowing here without stopping, as if there's a whole underground mountain of them. I have an idea. Let's go and see what's inside the mine. I'm very curious. Let's go down faster. <gasps> Whoa! Oh! <laughs> JJ? Just look at how many diamonds are just hidden in the walls here. If you add a few more workers, it's an insane amount of loot. I'm more surprised that the mine is so high up. If you dig up the whole village, you'll be incredibly rich. But there's an earth mine. We can go there. That's right. A mine with earth? I'm sure I'll like it a lot more than this one. So let's hurry up and go there. <gasps> Whoa! <gasps> I just can't understand what you find in this land. It's just like the rest of the Earth. What's wrong with it? JJ, you just don't know anything about Earth. It's first-class Earth. You can make a million things out of it. 
You think if it was just ordinary Earth, they'd mine it? Uh... I'm sure the store upstairs will have no shortage of customers when they start selling what they've mined here. That's all cool, of course, but it's unlikely that you can make anything cooler than diamond from Earth. I doubt there's much money to be made from Earth. Let's check it out. You sell everything related to diamonds, and I sell everything related to land, and see how much money we make in the meantime. I like your idea. Let's try it, but I'm sure you won't make a hundred dollars. Well, that's what we're gonna find out. Come on upstairs. That's it. I'm taking my place behind the counter. I'm sure a whole bunch of people will come running to me now. Everyone around here understands the value of Earth, except you, JJ. Okay, Mikey. It's time to see what I'm selling. Whoa. Ho ho! Wow! Everyone hurry up here. I sell the best diamonds at the best price. You will be amazed once you buy one and you just cannot stop. Oh! Don't listen to him! Better look to my best earth in this city. You will never find anything like it. At the cheapest price, come and buy it. Uh, earth? Really cool? Sounds like a joke. I better go buy a couple of diamond tools. Oh, hey! Yeah, he's selling earth. That's ridiculous. Better check out my cool diamond stuff. I'm sure you won't find anything like it anywhere else for such a small price. <laughs> JJ, you're poaching all my customers. You realize that's no way to run a business. We're supposed to have healthy competition, and I'm being thrown into the ground and haven't bought a single thing. Frog, you realize that no one will buy your land from you. If I were you, I would at least start trading in emeralds, and diamonds will be better. <laughs> so, Mikey, how's the sales going? Let's chat while you're out of customers. How much money you've made? Come on, brag. I have nothing to brag about. I've got 25 blocks of earth here, and the money I have is my personal money. And how much did you earn? I've made $3,000, and we're just getting started. <gasps> so I think you already know who's gonna win our battle. It's not evening yet, so it's not time to start counting money. We'll work tomorrow and see who wins. Huh? I need a lot of diamonds for a global experiment. You've come to the right place, so here you go. Hello, I have all my flowers wilted, and I need soil to plant flowers. Give me a couple blocks. Sure, here's everything you need to grow cool flowers. Come see me again. Thank you very much, of course I'll come back. Goodbye. It was my first and last customer, which means I got $3 for the whole day. I had my last client too. Let's try to summarize the whole day. You know how much I made? Don't fall down, but I got $10,000 in one day. <gasps> I just can't understand how you did it. I have an income of $3. You took all my clients. JJ, it's not interesting. You're just a scammer. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that everybody needs diamonds and your earth is only for girls who have wilted flowers. Just look at how much money is going into my pocket with this mine. And I'm not a crook in the slightest, so see you tomorrow. I'm very tired and sleepy. <gasps> an idea. Viewers, give me a like if you also think like me that JJ is doing everything wrong and you feel sorry for me. Now I'll make sure that I make money and JJ is left with nothing. I'll go and destroy his diamond mine. I just take my sword and go put his miners to sleep a little and break his conveyor belt that provides him with diamonds. And after this, JJ will definitely not be able to boast that he has tons of clients. He just won't have anything to peddle, and my land production will be even more strong. <laughs> and here are the workers I need. This is going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> There's another worker, and he's going on vacation. Yum, 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 yum. And here come the rest of the workers. Now I'm gonna be like Spider-Man, only a little bit angry. Woohoo! Minus one more, last one left, and then I just destroy the diamond feeding system. <laughs> the main thing is to destroy everything so that the most important person won't notice that I've done something here. I have to do it very discreetly and quickly. Well, done. The diamonds just won't get to the top, especially since they run out soon. So that closed the JJ shop. If you like this kind of prank, please like the video. Come buy diamonds, the highest quality and coolest diamonds. Or better yet, buy tools and armor made from the earth. Hello, I need 1,000 diamonds. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, I don't have any diamonds. Sorry, I can't sell them to you. So you're a fraud? We'll never buy anything from you again. Huh? And he left to buy everything for Mikey. I need to talk to him. I'm sure he's the one who did all this. Yeah, that's all you need. I can also sell you diamonds. Huh? Why my diamond farm isn't working. So JJ, house sales. I made more money today than you did yesterday. Huh? Mikey, confess. Did you break my conveyor belt? I'm sure you did it all. <gasps> no, of course not. It's all a coincidence. Ah! Ow! <laughs> Viewers, write in the comments who won the battle of the stores. Me or Mikey. If you think I did, write JJ the winner. And now it's time to get back at Mikey for what he did. <laughs> Woohoo! Ah! Why, JJ, please forgive me, but why blow up the mine? Because you have to run your business the right way. Viewers, please like the video if I'm right. Look! I found this videotape in the garbage! I wonder what's on it. Let's check it out! Hmm! From the garbage? That's pretty creepy. I don't know if I want to watch it. It'll be fine. Let's take a look. Maybe there's a game show on it. That's <laughs> weird. What's this? Huh? <laughs> Huh? There's someone strange on the screen. Mikey, I knew this was gonna get creepy. I've got a bad feeling about this. Turn it off already. Come on, go ahead. Huh. Got it! Huh? <laughs> huh? Mikey disappeared! this place huh well there's Mikey Mikey come on wake up Mikey wake up <gasps> where are we Mikey I think we watched a cursed videotape <gasps> if you watch a cursed videotape you become trapped inside it <gasps> we're trapped inside of a cursed videotape Mikey, we need to find a way to escape from this world. Hmm, okay. I hoped there was gonna be a game show on the tape. For now, I'd like to get over there. There's a door, but these iron bars are in our way. What do we do? Hmm. So we're locked inside this cell? What now? Well, we need to find a way to escape. Huh. We're in a cursed videotape, so don't let your guard down. Uh-huh. levers in the right order, I'm sure we'll be able to escape. Huh. Let's try different combinations. Mm -hmm. Maybe this? You've got this, Mikey. How's this? Mm -hmm. Weird. Uh, need help? Maybe this way? Oh, this way. This? Hmm. Like this? Hmm. Hmm. Strange. Hmm. Hmm. This? Huh? Hmm. Mikey? Uh. Um. Uh. This wall's coloring is different here. Oh. Could there be a secret door hidden? Did I try this combination already? This is hard. It is a secret door, isn't it? Oh, it opened. There really was a door hidden here. <gasps> Mikey? Mikey, stop! This is tough! Hmm. Mikey, look over here! What? Look! Huh? There was a door? I found a secret door! Oh, let's go! I want to escape from this cursed videotape! Yeah! Mm. We found the secret door, so let's move on! Okay! Huh? Whoa! Oh, we made it out of the cell! Hey, hey! Yay! All right. Oh. Let's escape from this cursed videotape world, Mikey. 
Okay. Open up. What do you see? Huh? Oh. Huh? Wow. Zombies. Mm-hmm. And lava below them. <sighs> Mikey, this looks like... Oh, there's a door on the other side. It looks like we need to parkour across. But we also have to beat the zombies along the way. Okay. Uh. Be careful. Nice. I knocked it off. Huh. Whoa. Lava's pretty scary. Yep. We have to cross. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Good job. Hey, be careful. Sheesh. That was close. I almost fell. What's this? <gasps> Whoa. Huh? Cool. A golden apple. Awesome. Is that diamond equipment? Oh. What luck. Mm. Equipped. There. Whoa. Awesome. This is great. Mm-hmm. Now that we have equipment, let's escape. Mm-hmm. Let's go through this door. What's behind it? Hmm. Oh. Open. Huh? What? Uh. Oh, wait. I think maybe... Is it water? We found a flooded room. Oh. There's a door on the other side, but it's pretty far. We should be able to make it. It won't be a problem if we hold our breath. No hesitating. Let's go for it. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Follow me. Can we hold our breath for that long? Mm -hmm. Huh? Ah. Actually, hang on. What? Go! No way! Oh! Out! Zombies! Got it! Mikey! <laughs> Zombies! I'm running out of air! Ouch! <laughs> I need to take a breath! Yo, Mikey! Shoot! Yes! Uh. Shoot! Oh. Go! Oh no! Yep. Hurry! No! Hurry! I'm out of air. Hurry! These zombies! You okay? Uh, Whoa! Okay, I'm out. Phew! No way. <sighs> that was close. Let's eat our golden apples to recover. We almost drowned. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Being inside this cursed videotape, we need to be on guard at all times. Yeah, you're right, JJ. Yep. I won't let my guard down again. I want to go back to the real world. Hmm? Huh? I guess we have to climb these? Let's be careful. Right, there's a staircase. Looks clear. Still, be careful. See anything? Nope, it looks clear. Let's go. All we have to do is climb. <laughs> That's it. Huh. Hmm? This is a long staircase. Oh, bats. There's lots. Whoa. Let's move. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just keep climbing. Uh, hurry to the top. Keep going. Keep climbing. All right. I really want out of this world. Huh. Be cautious. Mm -hmm. We're on our way. through the same stairs, Mikey. Uh, stop! Stop! Huh? Hold on. There must be a trick to this. Hmm. Uh. Oh, look! There's a trip wire here. Whenever we touch it, it makes us climb the same stairs forever. Let's disarm the trap. Okay. I'll cut the trip wire. Oh! Okay. Huh? That should do it. Great! Mm-hmm. We disabled it, so... Oh, oh I think we can continue. Woohoo! We made it to the top! Wow! All right, we did it! Huh? Now then... Um... There's something written here. Huh? Do not enter. It's off limits. We still have to go through it, though. Hmm. We have to get out of this cursed videotape world. But how are we supposed to get through the wall? Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. It looks too sturdy to break through. Hmm. Oh, there's a chest there. Oh? Let's open it. Huh? Oh, there's rails and stuff. And golden apples. Whoa. This is a TNT minecart. Huh? If we use this, hmm? we might destroy the wall. Oh? Huh. Let's try it. First, let's place the rails. Like so. How's that? Then, hmm. if we make the TNT minecart crash into the wall, then that'll probably explode and blast away through. Mm -hmm. Here goes nothing. Will it work? No. No, oh, come on. Wow! Whoa! What an explosion! Phew! We can pass through. Let's go! There's more signs. Oh? Danger! Do not enter! Mikey, there's gotta be something through there! Now what? Is it dangerous? Where's it lead? Oh, there's something up there! <gasps> this must be an emergency escape! Oh! We can use it to blast ourselves up there! Let's go! Mm -hmm. Eat a golden apple? <laughs> okay! Once your defense is up, push the button! Yeah. Okay. What's up there? We're gonna find out. Cool. I made it. Uh, come on up, Mikey. I'm coming. Oh. Good luck. Whoa. Whoa. Hey. Huh? Is this the top floor? Mm-hmm. This? Huh? Yeah, it's the top floor. Hmm. There's someone there. No kidding. I feel like I've seen them before. They look familiar. You think so? I'm just glad we aren't the only ones here. Let's ask how to escape. Uh, this doesn't feel quite right. Hmm, let's ask. Something's wrong. Thank goodness. Hmm. Huh? Hmm? Wait. Oh, I recognize him. That guy? It's from the video. He was on the first video. Yeah, that's right, Mikey. <laughs> I knew it. Ouch. Get him. Ow, it hurt. Take Come on! I'm so scared! Ah! Whoa! Huh? Uh, huh? What? Wait, we're back? Oh, we did it! We escaped from the cursed video world! Phew! I don't know if it was a dream or what, but I'm glad we're back. Hmm. Yeah! Turn it off. Yeah, I don't want to watch videos anymore. Ooh, that was scary. Mm -hmm. Well, it worked out. It did. If you enjoyed today's adventure, make sure to like and subscribe. We're trapped inside a hotel filled with scary monsters. Mikey, we gotta hurry up and escape. <gasps> what kind of monsters are there? We better get out before we get attacked. Hmm, let's escape quickly. I'm with ya. We need a way to escape from here. Hmm. Huh? JJ, there's a door. We might be able to escape through here. But it looks like this door is locked. Uh, it's locked. Still, the key could be in this room somewhere. Let's search. Got it. Hmm, this counter looks suspicious. Huh? Oh, you can crouch through here. What? Maybe it's in one of these drawers. Oh, they open. Nice. Is the key there? Mikey, there are coins inside these drawers. Oh? Yay! No key, though. Huh? Oh, hang on, I found it. Nice job. It was on the wall. Let's get out of here. Open the door with the key. Mm, I hope this thing works. Hurry! Yes, it opened. Ah! Ah! Huh? What was that? Maybe we imagined it? Mm, it looks clear. Okay. There's no way. Huh? JJ, there's a number written on this door. Hmm. Mikey, supposedly you can escape from this hotel by opening 100 doors. Oh! 100 is not a small number. Still, it doesn't seem like any monsters will show up. Uh, I think you should take this seriously, Mikey. I've got a bad feeling about this. You're such a scary cat, JJ. We only have to open 100 doors, right? That's easy. I'm not afraid of anything. Mikey, I've heard there's monsters in this hotel. We should be careful. Who cares? It's fine. Let's keep opening doors. Hmm? What was that? The lights flickered off for a moment there. Huh. Why are you so afraid, JJ? Huh? Look out! 
Yep, this hotel has monsters, all right. Oh, I'm scared! I don't want to be attacked by monsters! Just a guess, but I think the lights flicker when the monsters are nearby. So that's what it was! Then we should run when the lights flicker. But where do we run to? Hmm, that's a good question. Huh, somewhere to hide. Oh, Mikey, what if we hide in one of those closets? Huh? Mikey, it worked! Wow! We can hide inside the closets. Then we'll be safe when the monsters show up. Whoa. This is easy. Well, let's still take this seriously, though. Monsters will get us if we let our guard down. Still, we have a strategy, so I'm not scared. I just want to escape from this hotel already. Hmm, <clears throat> let's keep moving. Huh? Oh, Mikey, there was a lighter on this desk. Huh? A lighter? Now we'll be okay even in the dark. Yay! All right. Huh? Hmm? There's a barricade in front of the next door. We can't get through. Uh, still, Mikey, maybe there's a way to open the barricade or something. Let's look for it. Sounds good. Hmm, the door on this side won't open. There's a door here. Hmm? Oh, it leads down. It leads underground. Whoa. Hmm? What's this place? Mikey, this might... Oh, there's a lever here. Oh? That might have opened it. Let's see. Hmm? It's open. Hooray! We can pass through. Woohoo! Let's keep moving. Open it. Number 13 is locked. Keep going. Open up. No. Hmm? Hold up, Mikey. There might be a monster nearby. Ah! Hide. Over here. Yes, hide in the closet. We're safe inside the closet. Huh? Hang on. The screen is turning red. Huh? What? What? Go! Ah! Huh? A monster got to us inside the closet? <gasps> Mikey, if we hide inside the closet for too long, the monster in there will attack us. No way! Then we shouldn't stay there. That's right. If we need to hide in a closet, then let's get out as soon as we can. Got it! Huh? Gigi, there are two doors here with numbers on them. Mm. Oh, no kidding, Mikey. There are doors number 14 and 15. Huh? Then maybe if we go through number 15, we won't need to go through 14. Maybe it'll be a shortcut. Hmm, a shortcut? That does sound nice, but it could be a trap. What should we do? Oh, huh? you're such a scary cat, JJ. Let's take the shortcut. Hmm, you sure? See, I was right, JJ. It's a shortcut. It really led us to room 15. Here's another. Oh, yeah, 16 and 17. We can take another shortcut, JJ. All right, let's take it. Hurry, hurry. <laughs> Go! <laughs> Mikey was attacked by a monster. A monster? He couldn't take the shortcut. Hang on, Mikey. If the last door was number 15, then if we go in order, 16 should come next. That means 17 was a fake. Oh, seriously? I think that means 16 is the correct door. Oh, I was right. No kidding. We need to continue in the right order. Dang, I got tricked. So we need to remember the room numbers. You're right. The next door is... Hmm. Hmm. Huh? Huh? JJ, well, what do we do now? There's no door. This might be a dead end. That's not good. What now? Hmm. There doesn't seem to be any other paths, so let's search this room carefully. Okay, I really wanted to escape the hotel already. Hmm? Hold on, Mikey. There's something off about this painting. Huh? Hmm. There's some kind of shape behind it. Oh? What is it? Oh, I know, Mikey. We need to match these mixed up paintings to the shapes. Let's see here. Uh, I think this one might go on this side. We just need to match the paintings to the size and shape on the walls. What about this one? That probably goes over there, Mikey. Oh! The tall one. Now to put the round one here. Hmm. Whoa! A secret entrance! Awesome! The secret entrance opened up! Let's keep moving forward. Yeah! Oh? Hang on, it's really dark. Oh, it's okay. We have lighters. Oh, thanks, Mikey. Let's hurry onward. Here's door 21. Ah! ah! That was a fake door, Mikey. The monster got Mikey! Okay, let's proceed with caution. Oh, let's hurry up and escape already, JJ! Hmm. Hmm. Then the next is 38. Hmm? Wait, Mikey! 
There are eyes all over this room. Ugh, and they're all looking this way. Oh, no kidding. They're so creepy. It doesn't seem like they're gonna attack us, though. Maybe they can't move because they're just eyes? Oh, they must be safe, JJ. Hmm. They're fine. Well, it doesn't seem like they're gonna attack, but we still can't let our guard down. They're not scary if they can't attack. There are a lot of eyes stuck to this room, too, Mikey. It's fine. It's fine. Piece of cake. Hmm. No eyes here. See, JJ? They heard nothing. You worry too much. Hmm. Well, nothing happened with them. Hmm. Let's move. I want to get out of this hotel soon. Hmm. Let's escape quickly, Mikey. Huh? Huh? It's coming! Run! I don't wanna die! Ah! 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 Obstacles! Ah! 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 Mikey, don't get caught! No way! Run away! Ah! Ah! No way! Ah! Ah! Mikey, there are giant hands coming from the walls! This is bad, Mikey! They're gonna catch us! Ah! It's catching up! Go! Ah! Mikey said he's off to slay the Ender Dragon today. So, I'm gonna play a prank on him. Ta-da! Check me out! With this disguise, I'm hoping to secretly help Mikey on his quest to slay the Ender Dragon. Come on! That's Mikey's house. I'm gonna wait in front of it until he comes out. How does this look? I'll stand as still as a statue and wait for Mikey. He should be coming out any time now. <sighs> Oh, here he comes. Wow, great weather today. Huh? All right, time to gather supplies. First, some food. Not bad. He must be getting ready to hunt the Ender Dragon. Hmm. Okay. Hmm? All right, that should be enough food. Now I'm off to hunt the Ender Dragon. Yeah. What's that? Mikey finally noticed me. Hmm? He's coming to see what's up. It's not moving. What is this? It's weird, but kind of cute. Not bad. I don't hate it. How will he react if I start moving? Huh? What's that? Now that I think about it, it does look scary. It's probably a bad guy. Stay away. I need to go slay the Ender Dragon. I don't have time for you. Mikey's being very careful, but I still need to stay close to him to help out. I'll follow him quietly. Back off! Aw, oh, he's running away from me! But I'll keep following him! Now, let's go see what Mikey's up to. Is he around here? Oh, there he is! I'll follow from a distance. Okay, time to go inside! So this is Mikey's house. I'm home. Looks like he went inside. So this house belongs to Mikey. Let's take a look. I sure am getting hungry. Hmm. I'm sure I had some meat in this chest. Open! Huh? How can this be? It's empty! All the meat I collected, it's gone! What am I gonna do? I'm so hungry, but I don't have any food! It seems Mikey's in trouble. He must be really hungry. All right then, I'll give him some food. What should it be? Oh, I know, a bunch of cakes. I wonder how he's gonna react. Let's try knocking. Huh? Who's there? Huh? Oh, an Enderman? Oh, why me? I'm so scared. This is like a nightmare. What? Are those cakes? Huh? Why are you giving me cakes? Thank you! You're a nice guy! There's so many here! Are these all for me? <laughs> you shouldn't have! Oh, that's just as tasty as it looks! Hold on! I still don't understand why an Enderman would give me cakes! Hmm... I wonder... Thank you, Mr. Enderman! <laughs> Even
even after giving him those cakes, Mikey still hasn't caught on. If you enjoyed today's adventure, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Let's get started. Today we've come to this forest to hunt for valuable mushrooms. Mm -hmm. This little piggy can sniff out mushrooms for us. Yep. Oh. oh. What is it? Piggy caught a scent. I think it found a mushroom. Oh. Really? Is it over there, piggy? Huh? Huh? We found one. A valuable mushroom. Here it is. See? Whoa, check it out! I think we can sell this for $100! Mm -hmm. Hey, hey! Nice! Wow! They only grow in this forest, right? Yep! Alright, let's spend the day gathering lots of mushrooms to make a ton of money! Yeah! We managed to find a lot of these expensive mushrooms! What a haul! We did great! Huh? What? Huh? Piggy got another scent! Good job, Piggy! This way? Let's go! <laughs> so, more mushrooms? Huh? <laughs> what is it, Mikey? <laughs> what is that? A villager! Oh! It looks like something incredibly huge bit his top half off! Sheesh! We need to tell the village chief! <laughs> You're right! Chief, we need to stop mushroom hunting! There may be a man-eating creature hiding in the forest! We found a villager! What was left? Ugh. Without the mushroom hunt, our economy will collapse. But it's dangerous! Someone else could be eaten! So you won't do it? I don't want to be eaten like that! Oh. Well, Mikey, let's stop hunting for mushrooms this year. <laughs> let's stop. so early. No! Uh, uh, it's bad, JJ! Come on! Hurry up! Hurry! Huh? What is it? What's with all these people? Oh. Oh. Again! Someone was attacked! This is why we told him to put a stop to it! Oh. Uh. Mikey, it's the same giant monster hiding in the forest. This villager was eaten in the same way. Oh, oh, but JJ, I have good news. Huh? We don't need to be afraid of the monster. We can keep mushroom hunting now. Oh. But why? Because I think they caught the monster. Huh? So apparently this zombie was our big bad monster. This nice strong person caught it. Thank you for protecting the village! Case closed! Now we can hunt for mushrooms again in peace! Huh. Let's get back out there soon, JJ! It's safe now! Mm -hmm. Uh, hold on... <sighs> this tiny zombie is the monster that caused all of this? Mm-hmm! This isn't right... Huh? What's wrong? Think about it! The victims have all had their top halves bitten off in one bite. Hmm. I don't think this tiny zombie did it. The real monster is going to be much, much, much bigger. Oh, that's a good point. But everyone in the village thinks that this zombie did it. Nah, that doesn't sit well with me. Oh. 
Could this be the culprit? No. Let's hold off on going back into the forest. Okay, Mikey? You worry too much. I'm going to start mushroom hunting on my own then. But I'll bring back enough mushrooms for both of us, JJ. Hmm? Who could that be? Oh! Terrible news! <laughs> Mikey, what's wrong? I found another victim! No! <laughs> Hmm? <laughs> oh. Oh. Another person bitten in half, exactly the same as the others. You were right, JJ. It wasn't the zombie. There's a bigger monster in the forest. Let's go talk to the chief. We can't let this awful thing happen again. Everyone needs to stop mushroom hunting right away. Huh? You... Want us to exterminate the beast? Wait, but we're doing it? Huh? Oh. Hmm. This village will face economic collapse if the beast isn't dealt with. It's the only way. <gasps> Understood. The two of us will find the monster and eliminate it. <gasps> Am I going too? Mm-hmm. Mikey, let's go exterminate the monster for the good of the village. Let's go. Oh! All right, Mikey, let's prepare to fight the monster. Hmm. Let's take everything from our houses that might be useful for the fight. Got it! I'm prepared for the worst. I'm really scared. I don't want to do this, but let's beat it together. Mm-hmm. It gave up on trying to eat us and went back underground. But how are we supposed to fight it, Mikey? I'm running out of ideas. Oh, hold on. You have TNT. A big explosion could slay it. I did bring a lot of TNT with me. But that monster is huge with incredible defenses. If we could hit it with all the TNT at once, that should do it. But I'm not sure how we could hit a monster that moves around so much, though. It's impossible. <sighs> hmm. So that's how it is. What are we supposed to do now? All I brought with me is this stupid slime. What was I even thinking? Slime? Oh, I want to get revenge for Piggy. Hmm. <laughs> hey, can I have some? Huh? Hmm. Uh, Hang on. This slime might be a good idea. Huh. Hmm. Perfect. Mikey, I've come up with a plan to use this slime. Oh? Mikey? Uh-huh. It's nighttime, and the sandworm is asleep, so let's build an above-ground trap. Hmm. Using this slime. Really? But slime is useless. It's just sticky. But Mikey, that's the best part. We can use slime to stick to things. Oh. Look, it's incredibly sticky. If the sandworm moves over it, it should slow down. It'll get stuck on the slime. That's true. Once it's stuck, we'll blow it up with TNT. Oh, wow, that'll work. Let's hurry up and build the trap. Then let's get building. We'll start off by digging a hole over here. Okay. Let's dig two blocks deep. Oh. We'll need to stay quiet to not wake the sandworm. Take your time. Okay. Now. We'll dig a hole like this around here. Okay. Quick, before the sandworm wakes up. Okay. Next up, Mikey. Hmm? I'll put TNT all over the bottom. We're gonna need a whole lot, right? Yep. 
Okay. Looks good. Hmm. Nice. Cool. Moving on. For the next layer, it's slime. Oh. Hmm. 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 Walking on top of this slime is really sticky and difficult, huh? Mm -hmm. Even more so for the sandworm. It'll get stuck with no hands or feet to free itself. Looking good. Yep. Wow. Next, let's make the activation switch. I'll use wood for the detonator. Nice. Now over here. Mm -hmm. A little of this. And here. Yep, that's right. I'll put the button here. Ooh. Don't press it yet. <laughs> okay, good. Our trap is complete. Yay! Let's lure the sandworm onto this slime. The slime's stickiness will prevent it from moving around. Ooh. Then we'll push the activation switch and blow it up with TNT. Tomorrow, we're slaying the sandworm. Where is that worm? It's already morning. Let's just be patient, Mikey. <laughs> It'll come. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, Mikey, the worm! <laughs> Our lookout collapsed. No! Focus, Mikey. We need to be the bait and lure it on top of the slime. But how? Just run towards the trap. Whoa! It's following you, JJ! Come on, worm. Over here. Oh, hold up. Whoa, JJ! Yo, look, Mikey. It's on top of the slime. It worked. Okay, Mikey. Now. Wow! Press the button. <laughs> Whoa! Can we push it? Yo, run away, Mikey! <laughs> Did it work? today's adventure, make sure to like and subscribe. Huh? A prisoner broke out of a nearby jail? And he's considered to be extremely dangerous? Whoa. What if that escaped convict is hiding out here in the neighborhood? Oh, that's scary to think about. Mm. Hmm? Hang on. Who's there? JJ. Hmm. Mikey, what's wrong? Something strange is happening at my house. What do you mean? Well, my stuff keeps disappearing. There's things I haven't touched, and I have no idea where they're ending up. That is weird. Uh, take me to your house. I'll come take a look. Is this it? Yep. Hmm. Looks normal so far. Can I go in? Of course. So, what exactly is disappearing? Can you give me an example? Sure! This morning, I went to take some apples out of the fridge, but they were gone! I had nothing to eat for breakfast. Huh, how did that happen? It's strange, because everything looks to be perfectly normal, with everything in its place. Hmm... Things aren't in their place, though! My treasure has gone missing, too! Treasure, huh? That kind of stuff just doesn't walk away. I know! Hmm? No? Oh. No! Oh. What? Get over here! Quick, Mikey, hurry! What is it? Just follow me! In here! Okay! Hurry, Mikey! I'm here! Phew! Now, fill me in! Listen, there was definitely something under your bed. Are you sure? What did you see? I couldn't quite tell what it was, but it gave me a really bad feeling. It's just your imagination. Come on, I'll show you. Mm, fine. I know I saw something. Go take a look under your bed. You'll see. You're sure? Positive. Huh? 
don't see anything under my bed. Where to go? I swear it was here. It must have heard that I spotted it and gone into hiding. There must be a way to prove it. I know. Let's install a security camera. Then we can head back to my house. You can spend the night. You'll be safer. I think you're getting carried away. I'm perfectly fine here. Trust me, Mikey. Now stay put. I'll go get the camera. Okay. I'm back. Hey! There was something under your bed. I'm sure of it. Right. I wasn't just seeing things. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put the camera up here. And activate. Let's see if it works. Ooh. Now we can keep an eye on your house remotely. Cool. All right. Since your house has been compromised, let's head over to mine. Okay. Follow me. So, we may be hunkered down at my place, but we can see everything through this security feed. Have you spotted anything weird? JJ? No, not yet. So far, so good. Hmm. Listen, we're not going to see anything, JJ. It's a one-room house. If something was hiding under my bed and stealing my stuff, I'm sure I would have noticed it. Perhaps. Hmm? Huh? Uh, what? Hold on. What is it? Look! Under the bookshelf! You're kidding me! Whoa! Oh, no way! Someone just came out from under my bookshelf! He's checking to see if the coast is clear. And he's holding a kitchen knife. He's not taking any chances. He closed the curtains and he shut the door. He clearly doesn't want to be seen. But what is he doing there in the first place? Hmm? He's going through your fridge, Mikey! <gasps> My watermelon! What's he doing with it? Huh? Come on! I was gonna have that for dinner! Aww. You know watermelon isn't a meal, right, Mikey? I can't believe what I'm seeing! It's... it's terrifying! <gasps> Whoa! He's gone! For now, at least, I can't believe he was living right under my nose! Wait! What? I just remembered something! Uh-huh! Apparently, earlier today, a prisoner escaped from jail! <gasps> that clown must be him! What? You mean, I have an escaped convict for a roommate? <laughs> I'm scared! This would be a good time to poke around since he's out of the house. Wanna go take a closer look with me? Okay! I wonder where he ran off to. Uh, is it safe? Yeah, but shut the door. Uh, huh, wow! I didn't even know my house had a basement. Well, it does. Why don't we check it out? Okay, but let's be careful. Hmm, a staircase. I don't like this. Proceed with caution. We don't know what's down here. That's what scares me. Hmm. I still can't believe I have a basement. What do you see? Oh. Uh. No way! JJ! Yeah? That's... That's my old bed! I've been wondering where it went to. It went missing, so I just made myself a new one. To think it was stolen! Huh? That's a weird thing to take. Hmm? And then there's this. It's the cake I was going to have yesterday. And look! He ate some of it! Well, that explains why your stuff has been disappearing. The convict's been stealing it. What's in here? Huh? Seriously? It's... it's my treasure! He took it! Aww. What a jerk! I can't let him get away with it! Aww. You know what, Mikey? You're right. You deserve to get some payback. We're gonna catch him and turn him into the police. Sounds like a plan! First things first. Let's place another security camera so we can keep an eye on things down here. Great idea! Now we can spy on him in his hideout. All right. 
Next up, why don't we set some traps? Like a booby trap or something. Yeah, let's do it! I brought just the thing for this. TNT. I say we hide it right under his bed. Mm. Will this be deep enough? Yeah. Now this is how you get payback. Mm -hmm. Okay. Almost done rigging it up. There we go. Perfect. I put a ton of TNT in there. Nice! What do you say we add a trap that floods the basement with lava? That would be awesome! All right. I'll place the lava dispensers up in the ceiling. Just like this. Hmm. Oh! I'll put another one here. That works. All set. Good job! Thanks! This looks like a good spot for a third one. Load up the lava. And... There! Done! Yay! Okay, Mikey. Let's head up to the entrance. Lead the way! Hurry! I'm coming! We have to build the next thing before he gets back. Here's what I'm thinking. Let's build a pitfall trap right here. Ooh. When the TNT goes off and the basement fills with lava, the convict is going to try and make a run for it through the front door. When he does, we can activate this final trap and catch him. I love it! Glad to hear it. Time to get digging then. Let's make this pit really deep. Whoa! Think this is deep enough? Yep. Okay, now for the pistons. One side down, one more to go. That looks good. Mm -hmm. On to the next step. Woo. That seems wide enough. Okay, the dirt's all cleared out. It's time to place the repeaters. Like so. Nice. Now to lay down a trail of redstone dust. Almost done. All that's left to do is cover up. Hurry! Don't worry, Mikey. It's almost ready. I'll put the lever here. Woo! I'll cover this up with sand, and that should do it. Amazing! To activate this trap, we just have to pull the lever, and the sand will drop down. Anyways, we should head back to my house. We can keep an eye out for the convict on the security feed. Sounds good. <sighs> Still no sign of him. Huh? Oh, wait, look! Hmm? I think that's him. Yes, it is! <gasps> He's back in your house! Is he heading into the basement? Yeah, he is! Switch to the other camera! Right! Just have to change the feeds here really quick. There! Hmm. We're in the basement. But where is he? Uh... Oh! There! We've got a visual. He's in the basement. I repeat, he's in the basement. There's one slice left. <laughs> What's he gonna do next? Hmm. Oh, no! No way! He's using my toilet in my house? Oh, he's got some nerve! Well, technically, he's using the toilet under your house. Still, he's the worst! Oh? What's he doing? Let's see. No! Are you kidding me? In my bed? I've had it! Don't worry. This is your chance to get revenge. Hit the TNT switch. Quick, while he's sleeping so he doesn't see it coming. Okay. Three, two, one. Did it work? Wait for it. Whoa! Whoa! Ew. 
If you enjoyed today's adventure, make sure to like and subscribe. All right, today we're looking at four security houses. Hidden inside each one is a fabulous treasure. So we're gonna break into each house and steal it away. Whoa, really? Let's go steal. Let's do some reconnaissance. Oh, I see something. At the dirt house? Yeah. This guy is alert. What else? Hmm. It looks like he has a lava moat around his house. Hmm. It shouldn't be a problem if we can get past that. All this lava could really be a problem later. That's about it for this one. Let's scout out the diamond house. Okay. This house is surrounded by a web of vicious security lasers. Whoa! That's some really tough security. Yeah, but we can just walk through the front door once he goes to sleep, right? That's easy. Well, I hope so. Next is the bedrock house. There's a freaky guy guarding the door, and it looks like some security turrets. Oh, and spike traps. We'll take damage if we get too close, so watch out. Yikes, that's scary. Oh man, the owner looks strong. But if he goes to sleep, we can just walk through the front door too. Hmm, maybe. The last one is the sky house. Look how giant the tower is, and at the top, the house. You're right. I wonder what kind of person lives up there. This looks like the toughest to break into. We have to climb the tower just to reach the house. Hmm. Whoa, it's all lava below. If we slip while climbing up, that's it for us. This is definitely the hardest house to break into. Where do we even start with this one? For now, let's just wait until night falls. We can't break in during the day. Yeah, let's get some treasure. It's dark out. Let's go. First, let's protect our identities. We can put on these masks and a change of clothes. Okay. Whoa! Looking good. Now no one can see our faces. So, okay. Next up is the diamond house. Let's break in. He's awake. If the owners would sleep, we'd use the front door. I'm going in. You're scouting ahead? I'll be stealthy. Good luck. Try not to be seen. He won't see me. Uh-oh. Uh, just keep running away. Oh, no. Go, Mikey. But where? To the village. Ow. Hurry. That hurt. This way. Ouch. That way? Okay. Just keep running. Well, no 